Welcome back. This is part two of my teaching video on chapter one data collection. The focus of this video will be to cover all the essential knowledge that you need in order to access the large data set exam questions. Let's have a look at the key facts. The large data set covers data on specific UK and overseas weather stations. Let's begin with the UK weather stations. So in the UK we have Camborne, Hearn, Heathrow, Leeming and Lucas. Moving on to overseas weather stations. So overseas we have Beijing, Jacksonville and Perth. The Earth is divided into two hemispheres, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. In the Northern Hemisphere we have specific weather stations. These are UK weather stations, Beijing and Jacksonville. In the Southern Hemisphere we have Perth. Now we know that for the Northern Hemisphere, from July to September it is summer, whereas in the Southern Hemisphere from July to September it is winter. Let's have a look at the north and south of England. In the north of England we have the following weather stations. Lucas and Leeming, whereas in the south of England we have the following weather stations. Heathrow, Hearn and Campbell. It is generally more colder in the north of England. Moving on to coastal and non-coastal areas. So Camborne, Hearn, Lucas, Perth and Jacksonville are located in coastal areas, whereas Beijing, Heathrow and Leeming are located in non-coastal areas. We know that in coastal areas it is generally more windier. Now we're going to look at the variables recorded in the large data set and their units. Firstly we have daily mean temperature recorded in degrees Celsius, then daily total rainfall, millimeter, daily total sunshine, hours, daily maximum relative humidity, percentage, daily mean visibility, decimeter. One decimeter is equal to 10 meter. Daily mean pressure, hectopascal, one hectopascal is equal to 100 pascal. Daily mean total cloud measured in octus. Ladies and gents, eighths of the sky is covered by cloud. <coughs> Octus is a discrete variable. This means that it takes finite number of values. Octus represents a scale of nine values. Zero represents clear sky. Eight represents completely overcast. Moving on to daily maximum gust. It is measured in knots and Beaufort scale. So one knot is equal to 1.15 miles per hour. Let's have a look at the Beaufort scale. So the Beaufort scale measures the wind strength. The Beaufort scale is a discrete variable. Again, it takes on finite number of values. The Beaufort scale is a scale of 13 values. Zero represents calm, 12 represents a hurricane. Finally, we have daily maximum gust direction. It is measured in bearing and cardinal direction. So an angle and a cardinal direction. So here is a compass. We've got north, south, east, west. North represents 0 degrees or 360 degrees. East represents 90 degrees. South is 180 degrees. West is 270 degrees. For this reason, northeast is 45 degrees halfway through between 0 and 90. Southeast is 135 degrees. Southwest is 225 degrees. And northwest is 315 degrees. Ladies and gents, now I'm going to go through random sampling and correlation using the large data set. Let's have a look at this. A lot of the values for daily total rainfalls are zero, so that's a very important fact. If a sample for daily total rainfall is generated and does not include a zero, then it is most likely not a random sample. Okay, moving on to the next point about random sampling. A lot of the values in the large data set are missing. These missing values are recorded as n slash a. If you were to carry out a random sample of size 13, say, then this may not be possible due to missing values. Okay, so these are the two key facts that you need to know about the random sampling process involving the large data set. Moving on to correlation. The large data set covers weather-related data for the months May to October in the year 1987 and 2015, respectively. Okay, so that is a very important fact about the large data set. Using the regression equation for bivariate data in the large data set to estimate a response variable, which is called a dependent variable, for the months outside of May to October is unreliable. This value, we call it an extrapolated value. 
Finally, data with TR. So what does that represent? TR represents trace amounts of daily total rainfall in the range 0 to 0 0.05 millimeter. When calculating a measure of location or a measure of spread, I repeat, when calculating a measure of location or a measure of spread, for a data that includes a TR, you just take the TR to be zero. Okay? So that there, ladies and gents, is a summary of all the knowledge that you need in order to access the large data set exam questions. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.